Hi everybody, hope you're well. Nick from 360 Big Sky Media back with another video. Sorry for the delay in a couple of weeks getting another video out. Um, things have picked up. A few people have asked me if I could show how I create my loading screen on my tours in Theasis. It's really easy. It's, it's, it's a simple process to do. So that's why I thought I would do this quick video today. Um, we're at 150 subscribers. That's amazing. Those of you who've subscribed, thank you so much i appreciate it those who've reached out and left comments again i appreciate it so the loading screen option is in the auto play section of the customizer in theasis and i create a um ju just a, a template which is what i've created in canva if you've never used canva before it's amazing to um, i use all for all my thumbnails and all the other stuff it's a great program if you've not used it have a look at it canva.com I'm just going to jump into Theasis and show you a loading screen and then we'll jump into Canva and make one. Really easy. You'll be shocked. So here we are in Theasis and this is what people are asking me about this bit here. Really easy to make. Why is it in the layout it is? Because you can look at the screen size up here in your preview and it's actually optimised as well. More and more people are using mobile phones and more and more people are using mobile phones in portrait mode. So this gives us the option to, to have that. And it'll also work for landscape, tablet and iPad. So at the moment we're in desktop mode. That's where we are. What we need to do is just create this. So we're going to jump into Canva. If you've never used Canva before, it's a free program. Um, this is the home page and you can do any sort of presentation or graphic design or anything you want in here. I use it for my social media posts, for presentations, for videos, etc. And you'll see them down here. But we've got this recent design which is just called my Theasis loading page. And it's set up as a 1920 by 1080 uh, blank document with a logo which I've uploaded in the uploader. So it's, it's here, you'll see it here. Elements, I'm not going to get into elements. If you want to know more about elements, there's people who do better Canva tutorials than I ever would. I just use text. We drag or we click on the text and it'll create a piece of text there. We can drag the size of that to whatever we want and we can delete the text inside. I'm just going to get rid of that. This particular piece of text here, I've done it to a certain size. Um, the size I've used is um, 463 pixels high by 288 wide. That's just the size that works for me. Um, we've got an undo button, so I'll just recenter that. And then all we need to do is upload an image that we're going to use. If we delete this image, which is here, and we drag a new image in, if we double click it, we can line it up to wherever we want. And then once we've done that, I scale back the opacity to 50% or the transparency as they call it. Once I've done that, I just go into share, I press download, I save it as a PNG, I leave the size as it is and I just download that image. Then once we've downloaded that image, I just then go over into Theasis. So when we arrive in Theasis, what we're going to do is this is our page where we build our virtual tour options. We're going to come down to the customizer. And then from the customizer, we're going to go into autoplay. By default, autoplay will be enabled. If autoplay is enabled, it will blank out that screen and you'll just jump straight into your virtual tour. So as soon as you load that tour, it'll just jump. I'll do that again. It'll jump straight into the virtual tour. So if we untick that, we can then add our own cover image and it is as simple as if i delete that drag and drop or browse so if i browse for the file find it and upload it and that will then put this in place i've also slightly edited these i'll quickly show you how to do it um, the options underneath will talk about adding a logo um, if you want to add the logo to a tour um, it's there, but you can also add a logo to a loading screen if you want to. I tend not to because if the company give me a logo, I'll put it in there. But the logo would show up here and it squashes everything up and you end up with these icons over your text. And it looks a little bit messy. 
the same if we enable tour title you'll see tour title comes up there it looks fine but if we go over to 16 by 9 portrait mode you'll see it's pushing those icons down so i'll just turn that off the same with the tour description it'll add all of the text in and again push our icons down so i just turn that off the overlay is do we want you can see when we go to the play button we have this dark overlay over our image we can turn that off if we want and it'll just change the overlay of the play button i quite like that because i think of it as, as a vignette so i'll leave that on and then we have these three links here we have link number one to the website so if we click that it'll take us to this company's website so we copy the website and we press submit and we put the little link to website radio button we turn it on and you can see it appears again link to map is this one if we click on that it will take us to the google maps location handy if anybody's doing this on a uh, on a mobile device they can press that button and get direction straight to the property how do you do that well you just google the property in google maps and then go to share copy that link and then when we copy that link what we can do is we can click on it and it will open us to here and then if you're on a mobile device we can just press directions and we're away this link here will take us to the phone number for this business which is again listed on google my business so we can find the phone number we can copy that and we can paste it into there so if we're on a mobile device and we click it it'll open up the phone number directly from your mobile phone we do have it there but it's just a clickable link that somebody can click on other options we have are in the styling page the overlay we can change the color so remember i said about the overlay we can change the color of the overlay to anything you can see i'm lightening it up if we wanted it red we can have it red we can change the opacity as dark or as light as we want that overlay i tend to have mine at about a third and then we can have the hover opacity which is triggered when we go over the play button you can see it lightens up i have that set to two thirds the play button we can change the color of again you can see it goes from white to black or any particular color we want at the moment this is a black and white theme so that's the color we've gone with and we can change the opacity and again the hover opacity when we hover over it if we did have text in there which we don't remember we've turned them off that will be the the description and the uh tour title if we have the tour title selected we can change the color of the text if we want to and the same with the icon colors here we can change the color of the icons to anything and we can change the opacity of them if we want to change the opacity the hover opacity we can change the size of them and we can change the difference between the the distance between them and once we've done that that's that's pretty much just done we've created our loading screen which will look just as good on a um, mobile device as it will on a tablet or on a desktop quite handy if the company is using a website which also has a mobile feature as well that's how we do it really really easy if you've never used canva before it's free why would you not use it again that's it as usual like comment subscribe tell me what you want to see next as i see people have asked about the difference in workflow between my micro four thirds mirrorless so the the g9 the gh5 and the trizio well there's an obvious difference in quality and there's an obvious difference in workflow and with that becomes an obvious difference in price to the customer the trizio workflow allows me to shoot and create a virtual tour in probably an hour now and a half using theasis I haven't tried it with 3D Vista, we can probably look at that as well. But if I use my uh, mirrorless camera, it does take me longer to do that. The editing time alone is probably five, six times just to edit the images. So we might look at that. If that's something you want to see, leave a comment. Um, tell me what you want to see. And if that is something that you're looking for and you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button. And then when we do do the video, you'll know all about it. Have an amazing week. I'm looking forward to mine. I'm ready to smash it. And, and lovely to see you, and I'll, I'll see you soon.